today is Friday and Chicken Kiev Day. Hello everyone and welcome back to EJ Makes Us Six. That's EJ in the background if you can hear him. And I'm Lorena and I'm the mum of the four children here on EJ Makes Us Six. Today we are making Chicken Kiev. I want to start by mentioning a beautiful friend of mine named Margaret. Her channel is Marg's Aussie Fam. I'm going to insert a little clip here about her channel. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you to Margaret. She's the one that actually responded to my Instagram post that I put up a few weeks back asking for some dinner ideas and she's the one that recommended this chicken here so this is where i'm paying forward the fact that she took time out to respond to my post and thanking her for her friendship through youtube she's such a beautiful good-hearted woman she has two beautiful children single mum doing it on her own you will love her channel content go and check her out Here's a little sneak peek for you to watch and we'll come back and we'll start getting right into the Chicken Kiev. Hey everyone, my name is Margaret and I want to thank Lorena so much for mentioning me in her video today and my channel. I am a single mum from Sydney, Australia. I am 38 years old. I have two beautiful children, Zach and Renee. On my YouTube channel, I like to share my daily life with my twins, shopping hauls, cooking and other mum related content. I hope to interact and see you pop over to my channel and enjoy my little fam. Thank you again Lorena for your mention. Bye everyone. Isn't Margaret so lovely? She's such a sweetheart. Thanks again Margaret. Now on to the chicken Kiev. Now to start with we're going to prepare what goes inside the Kiev and that's going to be I purchased it already garlic butter so I don't have to chop up garlic or worry about that but what I'm going to do is chop up parsley and combine the butter and the parsley together then let it wrap it up and sit wrapped in the freezer for about 10 minutes just so it becomes a little bit more solid in the meantime I'm going to then start preparing my chicken which you're going to see the whole process let's get cooking just add before I start you're gonna notice there's only gonna be three Kievs today and that's because I'm only cooking for myself Ricky and EJ as the older kids have gone to their dad's house for the weekend so you're gonna be like three Kievs for a whole family of six yeah no it's just for the three of us so that's why it is a small portion today. If I'm overthinking, I'm really trying, so I should stop it. So hard on myself, it's true. Pick apart the things I do. Pulling the thread through the loop Trying to find the faith I knew Always thought that it would just feel right I've been looking out for signs I'm scared that I'm running out of time Trying to tell myself I'm Can't say no hate 
with it, long as we thought that I would have it. Once we figured out by now, tired of them bringing me down. So I'm at it, and it's tragic, cause it matters. Every second that I lose, I wish I could get back to. The chicken, it's just come out after being in the freezer for one hour. I have breadcrumbs, so I've put some parsley, some pepper, some salt. I have plain flour and just two eggs and just a bit of parsley. So what I'm going to do is soak first in the flour, then the egg, and then the breadcrumbs. If I don't feel like it's coated enough, I can repeat the process as well. Let's get crumbing. <laughs> Feels like time's passing me by too quickly. It feels like I'm running with my eyes closed. Why are these seconds so easy to pass me? I only notice them when they go I guess I was always looking for the future While regretting the chances I slipped in the past they say time will slowly but passes fast Moving on as we grow Take a second to pause the scene Before these moments turn into memories What more can I do? So the Kievs are ready to get deep fried before going into the oven And to be honest they're not looking very, very, what's the word? <laughs> I've got a feeling they're just going to fall apart. I don't have any toothpicks. I've run out of toothpicks. Otherwise, I would have used toothpicks just to help the meat connect together a little bit um, better. I'm still going to go ahead, fry them up, put them in the oven. Might not be the best results today, but the effort was there, the love was there, that's all I can say. <laughs> Don't hold this against me if it doesn't work out. I'll try again next time and make sure I've got the toothpicks. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Definitely smelling amazing. 
Oh guys, it looks so good. Buon appetito! <laughs> so these ones are gonna stay just kept warm in the oven. I've dished one out for EJ and I to have, and I'll leave these for when Ricky comes home shortly. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five, six minutes before I cut into it and show you all the juices of the butter, garlic, and parsley. It look, it came out better than I expected, which I'm happy. <laughs> another successful meal even though I had my doubts and tomorrow Ricky's cooking Ricky's cooking a curry it actually tastes delicious